So why are you beating yourself up for trying something new when it's something new? Or if it's something you do all the time, you've conditioned yourself to being judgmental towards yourself. So really this video isn't about judgment, self-judgment. And judgment is a trap, you guys. You know what? You can try. There's an exercise you can try with judgment where when you catch it and you're going to catch it, we all catch it. We all do it. Okay. Especially as thinky thinker types that are, that are up in our heads and trying to understand our emotions and trying to use our emotional um, awareness that we call self-awareness up here, right? Instead of living it in our bodies and, and being present to ourselves and to everything around us is an exercise you can try is to um, catch the judgments when they happen. Okay. And just simply say, well, that's an interesting point of view because it's all it is. It breaks the, the steel walls that that judgment feels like. Okay. The judgment is constricting. It holds you in place. If you say, I talked to a friend and I felt so stupid because everything that came out of my mouth was dumb and now they, and they must hate me. And I hate myself when I'm around people because I'm never good enough. I'm never good enough for anybody. I'm never right. I'm always, I'm always, you know, and you feel really self-conscious and you feel really judging of yourself. Is that an expanding, expansive experience of yourself? And are you even aware of who you are? Or are you listening to some weird thought tape that comes in your head because of what's been put there and experiences that have, quote, proven it to you, right? Most likely it's the latter because it's not very, for me, it's not very expansive to think that way. It keeps me locked in the belief that something's wrong with me right? Okay. So if you're trapped in a judgment of yourself, how can you make a decision? You can't, you can only choose the one that feels less scary, or you can only choose the one that gives you the least amount of feeling of judgment of yourself. Does that make sense? So if you can stop when you feel that judgment, take 10 to 30 seconds and simply say, interesting perspective. That's an interesting point of view and make it just that. Feel that in your body. Okay. For me, I feel like I want to laugh when I say that. Like I literally was feeling that like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid right now. What am I saying? I'm too tired to be live streaming. Why are you on here, Lise? Because you should have waited till you woke up more and then you could speak more, you know, articulately and not be rambling on and on and blah, 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 you know, and you should have given people more notice so they could get on here. And so, right. Criti criticism, judgment, self and and if i had gone with that would i have done anything today <laughs> no right so instead as i'm doing that i'm thinking well that's an interesting point of view it sounds like a broken record from your past girl and and then it i almost want to laugh because it actually makes me feel like a tickle of laughter because it's such a lie and it's such a trap does that make sense and if you stay in that trap the trap is from the narcissism the trap is from ego when we're living with narcissistic people, when we're raised by narcissistic people, we are raised in a world of ego. We're raised in a world of other people's ego, other people's total psychological manipulation and delusional world of their grandiose self, right? So if you're trapped in that, and that is what has formed your beliefs and your ideas about life, yeah, how are you supposed to make a decision? Because you'd have to turn to them. 